In this video, we need to write down cubic equations in expanded form with integer coefficients with the following roots. So let's start with number one. Uh, we know the roots need to be one, two, and three. Okay? So that means that the sum of the roots, alpha plus beta plus gamma, is just going to be equal to one plus two plus three. Okay? Which is clearly just six. So that one's easy to start off with. Then we've got the sum of the product pairs. So alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. Okay? So we're going to have 1 times 2 plus 1 times 3 plus 2 times 3. And that gets me to 11. Then we've got the product of the three roots, alpha, beta, gamma, so 1 times 2 times 3, which is 6. So then the cubic equation will be z cubed take away 6z squared plus 11z take away 6 equals 0. Okay? So we alternate going negative, positive, negative then obviously we can check on our calculator. So if we go to menu and then scroll down to option A, polynomial degree three, we can type this in. So one minus six, 11 and minus six. And then press equals, we get the one, then the three, then the two. Okay, and so we've got our three roots. So that one works out fine. Okay, so let's leave that like that. Right, so the next one, we've got minus 3, 5, and minus 2. So minus 3 plus 5 take away 2 is 0. So alpha plus beta plus gamma will be 0. Then we've got the product pairs. So we'll have minus 3 times 5 plus negative 3 times negative 2 plus 5 times negative 2. And we get minus 19. Then alpha, beta, gamma will be minus 3 times 5 times minus 2, which is 30. So with that information, we must have z cubed take away 0z, right, so I won't write that, 0z squared rather, which we won't bother writing down, plus negative 19 times z, okay, then take away the 30 equals 0. So positive the negative of this, um, sorry, <laughs> the negative of this, the positive, the negative, okay? So, we can pop that into our calculator. I know I was pointing at negative and saying it was positive, right? But we're just, it's like saying, uh, take away 0 plus minus 19, take away 30, okay? So, pop that into our polynomial solver degree 3, we have 1, 0, minus 19, and minus 30, and we get 5, minus 2, and minus 3, okay? And so that one is correct. Right, so let's take a look at the next one, so number 3. So first of all, we've got the sum of the roots. So we've got one third plus two ninths plus one sixth, and that gets us 13 eighteenths. Right, then we've got the sum of the product pairs. So we've got one third times by two ninths plus one third times one sixth plus two ninths times one sixth. And we get one sixth from that. Then finally, uh, we've got the product of the three. So one third times by two ninths times by one sixth. And we get one over 81. So we'll have z cubed take away 13 eighths, 18 rather, z squared plus one sixth z take away one over 81 equals zero okay now we need this to have integer coefficients okay so in doing that 
we need to get this into integer coefficient. So uh, if we multiply everything through by um, 81 to start off with, okay, then we're going to get 81z cubed, then 81 times 13 eighteenths is 117 halves z squared, then 81 times 1 sixth is 27 halves, take away 1 equals 0. So now we just need to multiply through by 2. So 162z cubed, take away 117z squared, plus 27z, take away 2 equals 0. So if we put that into our cubic solver, just to check, 162 minus 117, 27 and minus 2, we get the one third. It's giving me if it it's giving me it as 0 0.3 recurring, right? So one third. Then we've got 0 0.2 recurring, which is the two ninths, and then we've got the 0 0.16 recurring, which is the one sixth. Okay? So that all works out. So that's number three. Okay, so we've got the last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my calculator into complex mode. So you want to go to uh, menu and then option number two. Okay. So first of all, we've got the sum of the three roots. So three plus two take away i plus two plus i. Now the i's will cancel. So three, five, seven. So that's going to be seven. Then for the sum of the product pairs, we're going to have three lots of two take away i. Uh, plus 3 times 2 plus i, plus 2 minus i times 2 plus i. And we get 17. Then alpha, beta, gamma, so 3 times 2 take away i, times by 2 plus i, and that gets me 15. So we'll have z cubed take away 7z squared, plus 17z, take away 15, equals 0. All right, go into the cubic solver to check that that's all, all OK. So we've got 1, minus 7, 17, and minus 15. And we get the 3, 2 plus i, and 2 minus i. OK, and so that confirms that the fourth one is correct.